Hello and welcome to Excel Month List. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. What we're trying to build is a worksheet where the user can enter any year, so the year 2020, the year 2010, the year 2000, you get the idea, and specify the number of months. So we want three months, six, 12, 24, and you get the idea. So let's go ahead and clear out all of these formulas and let's just take them one column at a time. Now, to compute the from column, we're gonna use the date function. The date function creates a date uh, based on a given year, month, and day. So the year that we wanna use is the one entered by the user. For the month, we'd want the month to go like one, two, three, four, five, and so on. But instead of entering this you know, by hand, and filling the formulas down, we're gonna ask Excel to create that sequence of month numbers for us. And the way that we're gonna do that is by using the sequence function. And we can specify various arguments. In this case, we just wanna specify the number of rows as the number of months desired by the user. Comma, and we always wanna start with day one of the month. Let's close the function and enter and we got it. Now, depending on your workbook, if, if this creates serial numbers that don't look like dates, just apply date formatting uh, and you should be good to go. Now let's tackle the two column. We're gonna reuse the date and sequence functions again, but we're just gonna change some of the arguments. So let's start with the date function. For the year, we want the year entered by the user. For the month, let's go with the sequence function again and let's go with this and this and comma. Now, here's a little trick for the date function. If we enter one, like we did in the previous column, it gives us day one, but if we do zero instead, it actually backs that up by one day. So it gives the previous day. In this case, it's gonna be the last day of the previous month. So if we hit zero and hit enter, we can see it gives the last day of every month to the month prior to the one here. So to, to kind of sync it up and get it to be the correct you know, month, right? So it's like one off. We're just gonna ask the sequence function to start at a different value. The default start value is one, right? And what we wanna do is ask it to start at two instead. And that will get everything lined up the way that we want. Now, for the days column, we're just gonna use the day function. And the day function gives us the day number of any date. So we can use this and close the function and hit enter. And we're gonna notice in this case, the formula doesn't automatically spill like these other formulas did. Um, no worries, all we need to do is use the spill reference operator, pound or hash, and point it to C12. And then when we do that, Excel is gonna cause that formula to spill its results uh, just like the from and to columns. Let's go with the month function to compute the month number. Here we're gonna do this with the spill reference operator, close function, enter. For the year, let's use the year function of this, spill reference operator, close the function and enter. And then for the label, let's use the text function. And we're gonna point it to this and this spill reference operator, and then we give it the desired format text. Um, there's lots of format codes in Excel. 3Ms would give it the three letter abbreviation, that's what I want here. We could do a dash or no dash, and then for years we want a four digit year. Close that and close that and enter, and we got it, okay? And that's how we do it. So now if the user wants to see three months only, great. If they wanna see 36 months, that's fine too. Um, and they can pick their date, maybe they wanna see 1970, 1980. 1990, 2000, okay, you get the idea. Um, 2001, 2002, all right, I'm just having fun here. Uh, let's set this back to here. All right, cool, so I think we got it. Hey, hopefully that helps, thanks for joining me, have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and be sure to turn on notifications so you won't miss our new Excel videos. If you'd like to receive free weekly Excel tips delivered to your inbox, please sign up for the Excel University blog. If you'd like to learn more about our structured on-demand Excel training programs, please check out the Excel University website. All skill levels are welcome. This video is a production of Excel University. 